my name is Terry Ann Similani. Professionally, my name is Terry Ann Adams, and I'm a BA Languages English Studies student at the University of Pretoria. I know nothing about commerce, so you guys have one up on me. I am really not a commercial person. I study in the humanities, and I'm a second year student. I'm just going to informally tell you guys about transitions and how things change when you get to university because I've been there last year. It's very hard at first when you get into a new environment and you sit there or you stand in the line waiting for your student card or you stand in the line waiting to register and then you ask yourself, okay, what the, why am I here? What is going to happen to me? And all that anxiety goes through you as you're uncertain as to whether this is going to lead to anything. And you also get this horrible feeling after your first semester test or after your first class test or just to see where you are. And you look at the mark and it's not really what you wanted. Fret not, everybody goes through it. I'll tell you how I dealt with it. I am a first generation university student from my family. So nobody could tell me, you know, Terry Ann, it's going to be like this, or you're going to experience this, or this is what you're going to go through. And we didn't come from the best of backgrounds. So I went there scared and confused and didn't know how I was going to handle this. Living in a residence with 350 other girls who all come from different backgrounds and who looked like they had their stuff together. They looked like they knew what was going on. And I thought I was the only person that did not know what on earth is going on around me. The first thing I did was I went and I found out, okay, this is where I can socially occupy myself. This is where I can study. This is where I can recreationally occupy myself. Because I knew that if I was going to make it, balance would be the first thing that I would have to do. You can't go through your first year, you can't go through any year without balance. You can't always be all about your books, but you also can't always be all about your social life. You need to have a certain balance about it. You need to have a schedule. You need to have, I would not like a rigid thing, because you know as creatives, we never have rigid things going on. You need to just know for yourself that, yes, Thursday night I can go out. And every Wednesday, I need to do coffee with a friend because you need to have social interactions. The only way I made it through first year alive was through social interactions where you can build up a support system and find out who you are through other people. Something that's going to happen to you in this year is you're going to discover who you are. Are you the, first, are you the person that you were a month ago when you came here? Who can honestly say, by a show of hands, that they are still the same person that they, that they were in matric? So you've already the change has begun. The change is going to continue. I looked at myself at the end of first semester last year, and I was like, what? Everything changed. The way I thought about religion changed. The way I thought about friends changed. The way I thought about myself changed. I went from ble being a blonde to being a redhead. I decided this is not me anymore. I, I can't do this hair color. It doesn't suit my new personality. So I went and I, I chopped my hair off and, and dyed it, and that was my manifestation of the new person that I am. And you're going to do such public de declarations. You're going to, some of you might not be as drastic because I am a, a drama queen in my own right. I do all these drastic things. But some of you might you know, start doing, have a different routine, start changing your coffee, because you're going to have a public manifestation of something that's happening privately within you. Another thing that's also going to change is you are now not dependent anymore. Who still lives at home? Why I ask this is you're not dependent on your parents anymore. Even if you do live at home, do you still want to be treated as a matric student? Of course not. So you have to treat yourself as a tertiary student. And what I mean is you kind of leave the whole dependence thing behind. If you live at home, 
I suggest you please do your own washing. You do your own washing because this is what is preparing you for greater things. Small things like that. It starts with the little things, builds into the bigger things. So you do your own washing, you buy your own groceries, you budget your own money. I'm a student, I know. Do we not struggle? You sit there with your last 50 rand, you're like, I want to go to the Hatfield Square, which is like a place where there's like a whole lot of clubs and stuff. And then you go, but I can't go because I've got to buy bread. So that's when you start making the hard decisions where you have to choose between shots with your friends or actually buying that textbook. You need to start now. You're not living, you're not preparing for your life anymore. They, they told you in matric that you're preparing for your life. You're preparing to be a grown up. You're not preparing anymore. This is it. This is your life. It's not going to, to miraculously morph into something else beyond this. This is where it stays. This is how it is. This is when you start getting a job. This is when you start preparing for a job. What I did was, in my first year, I applied at um, the University of Pretoria's radio station, Tux FM. Who knows about Tux FM? Tux FM is the University of Pretoria's radio station, but we don't just broadcast to the University of Pretoria. We broadcast to Pretoria and to Joburg. So when I applied there in August, I thought of it as, okay, no, let's, let's do this as a joke. It started as a dare. It was like, Terry Ann, I dare to see if you can get in at Tux FM, because it's really, really difficult to get in. And I was like, okay, challenge accepted. And I applied to be a DJ, and I got in. In the six months that I've been working there, it's now what I want to do with my life. I want to get into broadcasting. I want to be work in radio, be it a DJ, be it a music compiler, be it a producer. I want to get into radio. And it all started in first year. Because I can tell you now, in August of first year, yes, I study English. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. The only time I actually figured out what I want to do with my life is when I got into radio. The thing about your career is it needs to be passion and purpose, where you work hard to achieve ultimately what you want to achieve. And it's not going to start in second year. It's not going to start when you have your degree. It's not going to start when you have your honors. It starts now. It starts when you go home and sit down and not focus on minuscule things, not focus on, I'm entitled to this. It's when you start focusing on what's really, really important, which is where you want to ultimately be in five years' time. Set a, write an a email to yourself. My friends and I started this thing where we discovered this website where you can write an email to yourself in five years' time. So 20-year-old Terry Ann, wrote an email to 25-year-old Terry Ann, and that 20-year-old Terry Ann said, when I'm 25, I hope that by the time I read this email, I've achieved this. You can put anything in that email. So I suggest you do that. I suggest you're all 18, 19 now. So you tell your five years time self. You write an email to yourself in five years time and say to yourself, by the time I am 25, 26, 24, I want to have achieved this.